virus, viroids, virusoids, satellite virus and prions. These terms are easy to spell out but a problem occurs when somebody asks that tell the difference between all of them. Then we are got stuck in it. We are got confused that what is the difference between them. So this video is all about that makes your doubts clear, their confusion clear and makes you learn them, learn these terms properly. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Biology with Agam Singh. So before making it easier to learn, firstly we just have to know the difference between all of them, the basic difference between all of them and so that it become easier to us to learn it. Okay, so starting with the first number that is virus it is a small particle that is made up of only protein and a genetic material. The genetic material may be the RNA or a DNA that may be also vary as single stranded or double stranded as many viruses contain double stranded DNA and some also contain the single stranded RNA also. So virus is that one that contains the protein coat as well as a genetic material inside it. This is the protein coat of the virus and uh, uh, this is the genetic material inside it. It may be double stranded, it may be single stranded. If, if, I were, if I talk about the AIDS virus, then it is a single stranded RNA virus, okay, which contains a protein coat and a genetic material. So vi virus are very simple. They just contain a protein coat and a genetic material inside them and have the capability to replicate uh, when they enters in a whole cell means that when they enters in the whole cell they hijack the mechanism of the whole cell and start replicating themselves so they have the capability to replicate themselves alone when they enters in the whole cell okay this is the virus now come to viroids what are viroids viroids are the free living rnas single stranded rnas means that there is lack protein coat in them protein coat is absent they just only contain the genetic material that is in the form of rna they are just like circle a close ring that is that's it they are just like the close ring means that this is the close ring of an rna single stranded rna that's our viroids they infect mostly the plants they cause the plant diseases in many type of plants uh, they replicate when they enters in the plant they replicate themselves have the capability to replicate themselves when they enters uh, in the plant body or the their host body they doesn't require any type of uh, foreign support they just uh, replicate themselves alone okay now come to the point number third that is virusoids what are that they are just similar term viroids and virusoids they are also the similar just like that means that they are also the circular RNAs they are also the circular RNAs but what is the difference between them the viroids and virusoids the difference the major difference between both of them that is they doesn't require any type of other foreign uh, support to replicate themselves but virusoid required other helper virus other helper virus means that they requires other helper virus to replicate on this is the virus and they require this virus to replicate their themselves so this is the difference between the viroids and virusoids that's it they requires the virus okay now come to the fourth one that is satellite virus they are just similar terms so what is the satellite virus satellite virus is also a virus let's make a diagram it also a virus which contains the protein coat and a genetic material the genetic material may be DNA or RNA but mostly in the cases it contains the RNA the single stranded RNA it contains so it uh, is a virus it is similar to that so, uh, satellite virus is similar to virus but what is the difference between it the difference the major difference it is in between that that virus replicates own self when it enters in the host cell but satellite virus requires a helper virus to replicate themselves the best example of the satellite virus is the hepatitis d virus d hepatitis d virus uh, is an example of uh, uh, this satellite virus which requires the helper virus that is hepatitis b virus 
hepatitis b virus is required by the d virus to replicate themselves uh, this is an example of the satellite virus okay so this requires a what this requires a helper virus to replicate its side okay now the fifth one that is prions what is prions prions as the name suggests from the first letter p p for uh, from the first letter p what you understand p for protein so they are the misfolded proteins they are the three dimensionally misfolded protein the quaternary structure actually which uh, are uh, causing diseases in humans um, they are just uh, the proteins they um, are the misfolded proteins just like the matched up um, bundle of a threads so this is the uh, matched up bundle of proteins only so what are uh, what is the property of them what is the difference in they all are the all are pro containing proteins and dna but it doesn't contain any dna inside them they just are the misfolded protein and you as you had seen the quaternary structure of protein this is just like that and a special feature of this it doesn't uh, transfer from one organism to another it is just produced in an organism and end its with that's it but it caused many problems in uh, humans which uh, cause the prionic disease okay so this is the basic difference between them now we are going to learn all of the all of them easily so that we can remind uh, remind them for a long time so let's get to the screen now making all the terms clear in your mind so that you can recall it for a long time so starting with the point number 1 that is virus what is virus virus is a general term that all the all the people knows that it contains a protein code and a genetic material inside it which may be an rna or a dna that is that is not a forgettable point now point number the point is the viroids what is viroid how can we recall the viroids that uh, how can we differentiate between the viroids so viroids when you listen the word viroids then you can listen you can you have to pronounce a similar word that is ovoid ovoidal in structure such like the cricket ground as it is ovoid in structure as the um, axis in which our earth is rotating it's an ovoid structure so make them recall from a uh, axis of the earth or from the cricket ground that uh, it is an ovoid in structure so they are the viroids are also ovoid in structure means that they are the single rna which are circular in structure so from the ovoid you can recall the viroids that is the single circular rna which is free living and replicates inside the inside it holds without any uh, other factors okay now the third one that is virusoids what is virusoids virusoid as you can pronounce it in a bigger way virusoid viroid is a small term virusoid it's a bigger term you just have to compare it with the viroid and virusoid viroid is a small term virusoid is a bigger term so it requires something else from a bigger term to make it lengthier it requires something else to be um, replicate so from the requirement you just have to require a helper virus means that virusoid requires a helper virus to replicate itself that's it you just have to compare virusoid and viroid which which is the lengthier one you just have to apply the helper virus here that's it now the fourth one that is satellite virus from the satellite virus you can recall the satellite as satellites require many type of rockets so that it can go in the space as such the satellite virus require other virus to replicate on uh, such as i had uh, taken an example uh, that hepatitis d uh, virus requires a hepatitis b virus to replicate themselves that's it uh, that's uh, you just have to recall the satellite after recalling the satellite you will definitely get the answer that it requires a helper virus now come to the fifth one that is prions what is prions prions from the first word prions from the p you just recall the protein it, they are the misfolded proteins that uh, cause diseases so from the point uh, from the first letter that is p you can recall the prion misfolded protein the matched up structure of threads of proteins that's it so 
दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फाइव पॉइंट दैट यू कैन रिकॉल इन एनी टाइम एंड मेक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम आई होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन गिव इट्स थम्स अप एंड इफ यू हैव एनी इशू देन यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट बॉक्स डाउन बिलो एंड इफ यू हैव एन सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल देन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टू गेट मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सच लाइक दैट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू सोन